Well, good morning from South Flagstaff. Uh, I'm up here for the Overland West Expo. Got in late last night after work and didn't really do any video because it was dark. I was thankful to find a spot here. I got an awesome little campsite off of one of the main trails south of town. And uh, I thought I'd just show you guys around camp before packing up and heading to the expo. Easy breakfast this morning, pre-mixed eggs, and I forgot my coffee. Guys, this is not good, so I had to go with a little gas station coffee this morning. Not quite the same. This was my first night sleeping in the roof nest. Um, the last few times we've taken it, uh, my wife and daughter have gotten the roof nest, and my son and I have slept on the ground, so it was pretty nice. Excited to do a proper review on that thing after I get some more mileage on it, but uh, super happy to be sleeping up off the ground last night. All right, I'm gonna get uh, cooking some eggs here, get a little gas station coffee, <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll be on our way. All right, we're gonna see how this works, guys. I don't know, is it better in the can or in the mug? Does the mug make it feel more like real coffee? <laughs> I'll try it. Just for good measure, I'm gonna add a little hot water. All right, let's give it a shot. Tastes like gas station coffee. All right, I did a fast uh, tear down at camp and hitting this this service road back to the highway and uh, gonna go see what Overland West is all about. I've been kind of following this event for years and it's super cool to finally be uh, living close enough to just attend uh, even for a day like, like today. I'm, I'm, only going today but uh, looking forward to it just to see what it's all about and uh, excited to bring you guys along and show you uh, some of the vendors and some of the awesome rigs I'm sure there's gonna be some incredible stuff there guys so uh, let's go What is up everybody? Welcome to 4x Trail. I'm Caleb and today I am up here at the Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona. Uh, it's super cool to finally get to come to this event. And I just wanted to turn on the camera here and give you guys a little walk through and hit some of the rigs that I think are pretty dope. Uh, I've just been walking around here for the last couple of hours, kind of getting familiar. It is huge. There is so much happening here. It's Marco, the Marco, the Overland cook. Come on. <laughs> Got to talk with Marco earlier. Such a great guy. It's TJ conversion here, this truck. Uh, check this thing out. Super cool. You can see some good adventures in that thing right there.
and Kate the Jeep. Ollie's build. This thing, check out, check out this suspension on this thing. Triple bypass, Bilstein's. Um, this thing is just absolute beast. Super, super cool. This is kind of the quintessential rock lander, you know, half overland, half rock crawler. Ollie's done some incredible stuff to this Jeep. What's up guys, pool kitchen. What's up man? Hey, how are you? So what is this, what are this slider mount to? Can you mount to anything or? Well, yeah, you just you put it in the back of your rig, whatever it is, we've had them in the back of trailers, back of pickup trucks, back in uh, wow. land cruisers. That's uh, a, it it's extends, all self-contained. Yeah, that's a long extension on it It too. is, it is, so it's, wow. it's fully closed in at 60 inches okay. by 21 and a half inches. And then, uh, it extends out uh, almost eight feet. That is so slick. So all, all aluminum, extruded aluminum, aluminum uh, composite paneling. This is deep enough for a wine bottle. Wow. It comes with a DeWalt battery to run the pump and the light. I was going to say, that's that's pretty slick. Yeah. Okay. And then it comes with, you either have one or two roto packs depending on how long your space is for it. But this is nice because you can just switch the water over. Sure. Once one runs out. And, uh, make another surface to prep food or that is nice up. how long when it's all closed how long did you 60 see? inches you want to see inches. it let me close yeah it up that'd be great now, this goes in first it latches and then this one comes in and that's check it. that out that is pretty slick you know i love stuff like that i love ways to you know bring a little bit of the the kitchen uh handiness to your rig without spending an arm and a leg now that that is a good chunk of investment there you know around 4400 i think is what he said but still that beats you know one of the x2 campers for example you know um and it, that's pretty neat that it's able to be easily removed from your vehicle um self-contained slider kitchen right there that's pretty sweet check those guys out i have not seen this nice of an expedition ever check this thing out and he has ideas of got the red tail overland um, no 90 90 would be 10 up there 20 inches so two feet very very cool it would bring out a lot this is nice Feel this, though. Feel the this is a super nice build, guys. I didn't know expeditions could be so cool. Just got whacked by a flag. <laughs>
right, I found the runner up to my favorite vehicle here. This one gets second place. Check out this clean Land Cruiser conversion. Love the color match bumper. These Land Cruisers are really tough. What's the conversion like? Who makes this this back part here? Uh, a company called Maltec. Okay. Based out of uh, Germany. Alright guys, check this out. Guzzle H2O. Little uh, water purification system here. That's pretty good uh, flow rate. <laughs> so this is the stream. Yeah, the superpower with this thing is you can put 35 gallons of water into your onboard camper tanks. Wow. Uh, and it filters and purifies as you go. Okay. It's got a carbon filter and then an LED based UV purifier. Wow. And Check it all that out. runs on a lithium battery and it's got its own um, pump. How many gallons will it pump through for a charge? 35 gallons on a battery charge. Okay. Uh, and how often do you replace the filter? I guess it depends on so what type of water source. So it goes up to a thousand gallons or six months. Dang. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That is pretty slick. I like it. And it uses a, she was saying like an off the shelf filter that you can So it's got a get. standard size five inch filter. Yeah, we've got okay. a favorite one that we buy that we sell to our customers, but you can get a one that will fit anywhere. That is very cool. So just uh, guzzleh2o.com, is that That's the website? Right, yeah. Okay, awesome. Thanks for the demonstration. No problem. Very cool. All right, check this out, guys. Lion Energy. This is like a Goal Zero Jackery uh, competitor here. But you say it's better. Oh, it absolutely <laughs> is. Uh, the type of lithium batteries they use are known for more charge cycles. Okay. And you know, we actually have to make them better because we're competing against some heavy hitting brands. So sure. I like this little guy here. So, so what's the, diff the big difference between, this, except for size, between these two? Um, more portable, more powerful. Okay. So this is called the ME. This is gonna be way overkill for most campers, but yeah. why not bring more? Sure. Then the small one, like you said, that are here, rooftop tent style. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool, man. So. Kind of a, give give a quick We're rundown the very, very of you know the, the layout and the way the the ports are and all that good stuff. So this is um, we give you the we give you a wall charger. There's there. This is where you'd plug in a solar panel, the ones we make, and okay. also the auto the car charger. You were saying this charges in like four hours. And even maybe less than that. Especially wow. with, we give you a fast wall plug that can do it under four easily. Okay. Whereas okay. some other guys take seven or more. Um, I love the dust covers. We're running our point of service right off of this, okay. and you've got uh, the new fast charging MacBook oh, yeah. C cable. Nice, that's cool. Yeah. Very cool. Um, and then on the side, we put we split up the AC plugs, put them on the side, better for cable management. Okay, sure. Even something small like this design of this handle is nice. Others just stand up. Yeah, Ours yeah. goes down flat, and it's more ergonomic. It fits the hand nice. That's very cool. So it's LionEnergy.com. Is that the website? Yep, Lion okay. Energy. That's like lithium ion kind of clever name. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very cool. All right, guys, I think I found my favorite vehicle of uh, the Overland West Expo. It is this vintage Jeep conversion. Look at this thing. This is such an awesome rig. It's got a little build plaque here. You can see 1964 Jeep M677. <laughs> oh, this thing is so sweet. And the high tents kind of outfitted it. So this is the high tent guys, but they don't own it. But uh, yeah, check out this thing from the front. It has been fully converted to modern with modern uh, tech on it. LED headlights. Of course, the the whole front get up here is super nice. The Baja designs and. Look at this thing. Oh, thank you so much. Check that out. <laughs> that is so slick. Wow. What an awesome machine. 
That's a lot of room in here too. Double rows of captain's chairs. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Appreciate it, man. Such an awesome vehicle. I would totally drive that. I would daily drive that. That thing is so sick. I love the uh, the classics, you know, when they have modern, some modern touches to them. Just such a nice blend. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the quick walk around of uh, the Overland West um, 2021. So glad it's back. It was great to be here. Just see some awesome rigs and uh, some of the new products they've got coming out. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone you think would enjoy it too. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.